We are going to be getting a massive guinea pig mansion, and we are also going to be getting a made like literally a ton of hay right here. So you can see there's like the main living area, and then it has an entire ginormous pen on the outside. It's three, two, one. Look at this, they're meeting for the first time. Look how crazy this is. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel guys. I hope all of you guys are having an absolutely incredible day. Now for today's video, it is going to be centered around the guinea pig from the dumpster. Now I posted the video and a lot of people were not happy with my setup. They said it was too small, the sh pine shavings weren't good. Well, I was never planning on keeping that as their main enclosure. The whole process of this was to eventually lead up to getting that guinea pig a mate and that's what today's video is we are going to be upgrading his home once again because that was a used home that was a temporary home we are going to be getting a massive guinea pig mansion and we are also going to be getting a mate i got a message from a friend of a friend that said hey i've got a guinea pig that uh needs a home and i think it would be a perfect mate so that one in there is a girl and then we're going to be getting a boy which is going to be just so so amazing i'm so happy that i have such amazing people that offer these incredible things so we are going to go head over to the store now but before we do that wait 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 we have to go take a look at the guinea pig because a lot of people were freaking out that I actually didn't give them hay but I actually have bales and bales of hay on the side of my house I'm gonna go show you guys that right now I'm gonna show you the hay because these guys have hay for days now it is not going to be until the end of the video that I actually introduce this mate first we're going to have to get the cage entirely set up put ginger in there and then we'll introduce the mate dun -it, dun -it, dun -it. oh look at this we've got literally a ton of hay now I know a lot of people are gonna say well that hay looks like dead hay not good hay well if you look right here you can see that there's actually some green hay whenever I give ginger hay from here I actually reach my hand like all the way up in here and then I'm able to pull out the hay that's still fresh you can see that a lot of that hay is still green and fresh and they just absolutely love it so yes guys I make sure that there is hay in there 24 7 I know a lot of people were concerned about that I know that they need hay I've had guinea pigs before so I just wanted to clear all of that up for you guys what's up ginger how you doing guys this is ginger setup if this is your guys first time on the channel this is like part three so guys go watch the first rescue video the setup and then come back and watch this one because if you haven't seen those other two well this one's really not going to make a whole lot of sense but if you want to watch it great but here's the setup now we are going to be upgrading i'm going to buy him a bigger home now a lot of people were concerned that he didn't have hay well i've got endless bales of hay what's up buddy see he's a little bit spooked of the mic right there but if you look He's got some endless amounts of hay right there. He also gets just a little bit of the pellet diet. Now, a lot of people were concerned that the pellet diet was um, not good, that he was going to only pick out the parts that he likes. Well, whenever I put the food in there, like all of it disappears. So he's doing just absolutely amazing. How you doing, buddy? And you guys, I also have a hut for him. A lot of people were concerned that I did not have a hut for him. And I also kept that towel up on the top right here just so he would feel a little bit more secure. Keep him a little bit more warm. 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 But now that you guys saw that, we are going to go and head over to one of the two pet stores. We're going to be headed over to get some new bedding, the Carefresh, um, and whatever else we might find over there. And then we're going to go buy his dream home. Guys, we are here now, and we are going to be getting the Carefresh bedding for the guinea pigs. Now, I used kiln-dried pine in the beginning because, well, I've used that in the past as well as the Carefresh. And I've never had any problems with the pine as long as it's not too dusty. But... I think it's going to be a lot more comfortable for the guinea pig and, you know, healthier for them to use the Carefresh. But before we grab the Carefresh, take a look at this, guys. For 99 cents, you can get one of these big pop-ups. Like, what a great deal. And then these big ones right here are $5. Like, I could literally use this for the baby otters when they get bigger. Like, look at this. This is like an otter mansion for when they get bigger. So I think I'm going to be picking up one of these because for $5, you literally can't beat it. So as far as the Carefresh goes, I'm going to see if these bags are for sale. It says not for resale, but they might be selling it. Not entirely sure. But this Carefresh bedding right here, I believe that this one is like $9. And we're looking at, a, at about um, 30 liters. So I think two bags of this would be absolutely perfect for the little baby guinea pig. Now, right over here, I actually found something that's really cool as well. So I've actually already got my carriers picked out. These are the ones I'm going to be getting. But over here, 
for 99 cents as well. You can get like this whole play tube for the guinea pigs, which I think they're going to absolutely love. So I'm going to get this for their enclosure, something that they can run in, play in when I take them out for playtime. And it's cool. It's got monkeys, sloths, all kinds of cool stuff. So now that you guys saw all the stuff that we are going to be getting, we are going to check out here and head over to PetSmart to get this guinea pig mansion. Because I'm here in PetSmart now and I have the cage picked out. I hope all of you guys are going to like it. So take a look at this cage. It is a pretty massive cage right here so you can see there's like the main living area and then it has an entire ginormous pen on the outside it's a total of 10 square feet and you can see it has a large roof it's got a little hut food dish comes with a hay rack water dish i mean this is i don't think we could give these guinea pigs a better home unless i like transform one of my rooms into a guinea pig habitat which uh i don't think my parents are going to want me to do that but wow, guys, this is going to be just absolutely amazing. You can see it's guinea pig home with extra large playpen. I mean, guys, I'm super excited to get this set up, get these guinea pigs in their dream home. So now that we got this cage picked out, I will see all of you guys back at the house. We're going to be setting up the home. And we are back at the house. And now it's time to unload our guinea pig mansion guys i'm super excited to set this up i cannot wait to see the guinea pigs reaction because that's going to be just so so fun once you introduce them to their new environment now guys i'm going to put the camera down because i got to carry this in uh what the guinea pig home is now inside and it is time for the unboxing part so we're just going to take this right here and kind of i'm looking through the camera so let's actually go away from the body and just go and let's open her up see what we got in here let's close this up I'm a one person squad here, so we have our cage right here. Take a look at it, looking nice. Now, guys, the cage that I currently have for them is actually like a little bit bigger as far as like the main living space, but we also are going to have like the entire little outdoor area. But anyways, I will be back with all of you guys once this cage is assembled. All right, guys, we're making some good progress here. Now, what we gotta do now is we gotta attach this back panel with some of these bolts. And we're going to put this back panel right here and then we're going to have to put the tray in, make the little playpen and I don't think it should take much longer than 15 minutes. But Ginger, are you excited to get your new home? I'm so excited for you to go in there. And then we also have the mate. The mate is over in a crate. We are going to introduce them at the end and it's just going to be so much fun to watch them interact for the first time. Guys. Guys. This is turning out way better than I thought. So. We have it like 90% done. Let me just move this latch up. This is like their little ramp, a nice soft little ramp for them to climb down on. And now we're gonna add this. This is like a little ramp, a little hiding spot. And we're just gonna place that right in here. There's little slots for it. But we're not done yet. We still have to add a food dish in. We're gonna be washing this food dish off, obviously, before we put it in, guys. Make sure to wash the food dish off and I also cleaned this tray entirely out. I wiped it out, cleaned it out with soap and water because you don't know what kind of nasty chemicals are on here from the factory. I did the same thing with the metal bars. I... And the next thing I'm going to add is this. Now this is the little guardrail for the playpen so they actually don't climb out of it perfectly in place. We have to do the same thing right here. And we are good to go in that department. Now I'm gonna add this playpen right here. So this is actually a really big pen, guys. I'm gonna have to put the camera down and set this up. Check this out, guys. So this playpen is just going to snap in place on the side, little pieces, just like we did the little secure safety bar. And then this is going to kind of just go all the way around here. And three, two, one, Boom, we are done with that. Now guys, guys, this is a massive enclosure for these guinea pigs. So the main area right here is not huge. It's actually a little bit smaller than that, but this whole playpen area actually makes up for it. Now on the bottom there, I'm actually gonna go get a nice soft blanket. We're gonna put a soft blanket right there. Then we're going to fill the inside with the Carefresh that's right over there and then after that, we are going to introduce the two guinea pigs. We're gonna introduce Ginger to the new mate. All right, so I got the blanket and I only had a hot pink one, so that's gonna to have to do. I took the little thingamajigger bobber ramp out and we are going to add our Carefresh bedding in. So I'm just gonna to try to like make this as least messy as possible. And we have just finished adding the Carefresh. You can see the Carefresh 
is literally completely covered and there is literally about three inches in here. I mean, there's a lot of care fresh. Now the reason why I added a lot is because these skinny pigs are gonna wanna burrow in here. And especially at nighttime when it cools down a little bit, they're going to be able to burrow right up in all of this stuff, huddle up with each other to keep warm and this care fresh will help insulate them some as well as absorb the pee and it's 100% safe for the guinea pig. So let's add the little ramp in here right now. Take a look at that. This ramp is absolutely amazing. And look at that. They actually have this little cave that they can go inside of right in there. And I haven't forgot about that hay rack either. I've got a nice big handful of hay right here. Let's just stuff that in. Oh, you see the hay? He sees it. He was just crying for it. Don't worry, buddy. You're going to get that hay in a second. You're about to literally get inside of this massive little guinea pig pen. So look at that, guys. They have got unlimited hay right there, and now we have to go fill this up with food. It's already been rinsed off, so where's the food? I actually don't even know where the food is. Get a big old handful right there. Now, he really eats the pellets. He doesn't really eat that fruit part that much, so that's actually good. He only really likes to eat the healthiest part, which is going to be those pellets. So since we're having two guinea pigs, we're about to introduce two. We're gonna put a little more food in there. Now you don't wanna put too much of this food in there because if you give too much pellet food, then they'll not wanna eat their hay. And hay should really be 90% of their diet. So here you go, little guy. We're just gonna have this food just like live right in that corner. And we're gonna put that water bottle right here. So it is next to the food, so they can be munching on the food and then decide, oh, I'm a little thirsty. Let me get a drink of water. And the water bottle is nice and secure and in place. I rinsed it out, made sure there was no chemicals on it, cleaned it out, and now, it is time to add the guinea pigs in a second, but I want all of you guys to go right now, and I want you guys to comment what you think of this guinea pig mansion, because I thought that that was decent, but whew, this is like huge. But we're not done yet. We have to add this tunnel right here. We got this tunnel for $1, so let's like, look at this. This is gonna be like a fun little tunnel for them to go in. We're just gonna keep that here so they can hide around, play in. It's a good form of enrichment for them. If they ever wanna get away from each other, they can go in here go in that cave and even go behind the ramp. Hey buddy, you ready, Ginger? Gingy. All right, Ginger, come on, buddy. You ready to go to your new enclosure? I'm excited to put you in there. I know, you don't like to be held like that. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Here you go, bud. He's like, oh, he just disappeared. Okay, where did you go? What is he thinking? Where is he? Is he like, he's under the tunnel, I think. While he's getting introduced to his new home, getting used to his environment, let's go over here and grab the new mate. Guys, take a look. We have the new guinea pig right here. Now, I want to give a special thank you to my buddy Alex for donating this guinea pig. Oh my gosh. Look how cute he is, guys. I want you to go right now and comment down below a name for this little new guinea pig because we have Ginger right there, and I'm thinking this one's name should be Soy, so we have like Ginger and Soy. Guys, comment down below what you think. If you like the name Soy, comment Soy. If you have a name of your own, comment. If I like the name, I'll pick the winner in the next video. Oh, you wanna get down? Okay, okay, okay. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. So this is gonna be pretty cool to watch them like interact for the first time. He's down there, and Ginger's already made his way into the little hut over there. And then he's finding his tunnel right here. Look at this, they're meeting for the first time. Look how crazy this is. Look, Ginger's checking them out like, hey, what are you? Now guys, we're gonna have to monitor them, make sure that they're okay. You know, you don't want them to fight at all, but as long as they're getting along and not fighting, they should do just fine. Look at these two. Two peas in a pod. I mean, they almost match each other. So adorable. Oh, look at that hay. You're just, oh, you're finding the hay for the first time. That's I'm so happy that I was able to introduce a mate to Ginger. They can live a happy life together and that, my friends, is going to end today's video. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. I mean, I had an absolute blast doing this. If you guys have not already and you enjoyed today's video, please go give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of this new cage build. I had a lot of fun setting it up, getting them in there because it's nothing like getting them in like a really nice big enclosure. And guys, if you have not already commented down a name for the new guinea pig, please go do that. And if it is your first time on the channel and you are not subscribed already, well, guess what? It is the first link down below.